I actually believe that he was a very sincere person and uh, with me he was extremely sincere because I treated him almost uh, like a son of mine, you know, he could have been a son by his, by his age uh, or as a soldier in my regiment. A Dutch journalist who acknowledges he has no first-hand knowledge of the slaying of President Kennedy told the House Assassination Committee today what he was told by a man now dead. Jim McManus reports. Willem Oldman spent more than two hours answering the committee's questions behind closed doors. Outside, he repeated his claim that George de Morinchild, a one-time friend of Lee Harvey Oswald, was part of a conspiracy to murder President John F. Kennedy. Mr. de Morinchild told me in Dallas on the 23rd of February this year, this year that Oswald acted at his instructions and that they discussed the Kennedy assassination from A to Z and that he knew that Kennedy was going to kill President, that uh, Oswald was going to kill President Kennedy sooner or later. Oldman said there were four Kennedy assassins and that he gave the committee a picture of a Cuban who he declined to name publicly as possibly one of the four. Oldman said that in their talk last month, De Morinchild also mentioned an anti-Castro American named Lauren Hall and a Dallas oil man named Lester Loeb. Lauren Hall was offered in the office of Lester Loeb with five or six other people present $50,000 to take part in the assassination of President Kennedy. Subcommittee Chairman Richardson Pryor would not say if he believes Oldman's is telling the truth. Mr. Oldman was very specific on some things where you can be corroborated and on some other areas he was less specific. Um, we'll just uh, want to work with this testimony on a background basis. Oldman's also implicated the late Texas millionaire H.L. Hunt in his testimony. Hunt's family and Lester Loeb both issued denials of any implication in the Kennedy assassination. In 1968, William Oldmans interviewed De Morinchild, asking him if Texas oil money financed the Kennedy assassination. Some pathological oil millionaires in Dallas had financed the assassination of President Kennedy. Do you think that's possible? No, absolutely not. There might have been some oil men who disliked Kennedy here, but they're not, uh, they're just businessmen and they're, they certainly are not involved in any uh, assassination. The Warren Shield said, quote, Oswald was a lunatic who killed the president. Oltman says today that the Warren Shield simply changed his story. The Warren Shield's attorney told correspondent Eric Engberg that he was present in Dallas when Oltman's talked with his client. Community of Scott, 35 years older than Oswald, who is only 23 and spoke five languages and was in French Vichy and Tempe sympathizer. I think you really talk like a redneck. Tell me what I'm shooting at rabbits or pheasants.